Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Penguin and I would like to welcome you to the finals of the 31st European Pro Series Tournament. This is a best of five series and this is where everything is on the line. $25 for the winner, nothing for the loser. So, VP Fargo, our Red Terran in the bottom spawn location, who uh, he, he's had a reasonably difficult way, uh, path to the top. I mean, there's been a lot of good players in this tournament. But uh, he is the ex-grandmaster who... Uh, who wants to win it all, but his opponent, King Cobra, the Blue Protoss. Um, I've never personally heard of King Cobra, and, uh, well, that not, not that that means anything whatsoever, because King Cobra just took out Headhunter in the quarterfinals, and Empire's Hobot in the finals, so King Cobra has shown that he is, an, well, definitely a force to be reckoned with, at the very least. The map is going to be GSL Crossfire. And uh, the, the the rush distance we saw Fargo in the last game go for a uh, not not so much proxy but a uh, hidden hidden barracks and 11-11 on both maps that he played, which was able to help him win both games. Uh, he won straight up in the first game. This is a uh, this is the semifinal, but uh, this is a large rush distance map. It takes forever to get to your opponent's base, so it doesn't look like he'll do anything on this map. So I'm thinking we might actually get to see VP Fargo play a standard game. Scary thought, isn't it? But yeah, I'm very interested to see what sort of standard play he will bring us. He's going to go straight for that refinery there, so we're not going to be seeing a second Rax coming up anytime soon from him. A little bit of harassment from that probe. SCV is going to come to support. And uh, King Cobra, of course, going to micro that probe around perfectly, not taking any hole damage. And uh, just going to rally up some movements. Anyway, the um, assimilator is finishing for King Cobra right about now. Gateway's almost done as well, and I think it's safe to say that we'll be seeing a Cyber Core go down as soon as that Gateway finishes up. Yep, there goes the Cyber Core. Very, very standard. If he was to do anything other than a Cyber Core at this point, that would just be silly. Uh, very nice micro with this probe. Hasn't taken any hold damage yet. Doing, being able to do a lot of damage to those SCVs. And of course, SCVs do not regenerate health. They are the only worker that does not regenerate health. Um, the probes, of course, do regenerate half of their health, that 20 shields. Gonna go for a gas steal as well, because you know what? Why the hell not? And uh, that will delay the Protoss' gas quite a bit. I do like this. He realizes he's not going to get away with that probe. So he, he goes and does some damage to the Marine. The Marine, of course, does not regenerate health either. We are going to be seeing this Cyber Core finishing up right about now. And I'm uh, going to start chronoing out that warp gate. Hasn't exactly saved up a bajillion chrono or anything for that. Going to be moving out with a scouting SCV. I don't believe he has scouted his opponent just yet. No, he has not. Gonna be destroying that assimilator pretty soon. Factory is on the way for Fargo. And, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what he does here. He could go for Hellions. I really, really doubt he'll go for Hellions. Hellions are not exactly the most common thing in ZBP. Uh, I do think they're a bit underused. They're very, very good against Zealots. They're very, very good against, um, against probes, obviously. And against sentries as well. So, um, I, I think Hellions are a little underused. Uh, sentries are, of course, much, much better if you're able to force field in the Hellions, but Hellions move so fast, it's just a little hard. It is going to be a standard 1-1-1 opening from VP Fargo. Going to be going for that starport right away. Wouldn't be surprised to see him um, build just like just two or three Hellions tops, then start a reactor, and then switch that up with the starport, and then go for some pretty heavy bio play with, uh, with medevac support. Oh, that is not a situation you want to be in as a stalker. Uh, only takes a tiny bit of hold damage, though. Only three hold damage done to that stalker, so he won't be losing all that much. Uh, well... We're going to be seeing a, uh, more supply depots being built, a la Standardle. And uh, Nexus has gone up for King Cobra. It's about halfway done now. And uh, Sentry going to be popping out as well. He wants to get a couple Sentries out, simply because Sentries will allow him to uh, to defend himself. The choke here is not exactly the thinnest thing in the world, but uh, of course, if, if the if the uh, Terran comes from here, he can force field off that ramp reasonably easily. So, um, it's pretty easy to defend from, depending on which way your opponent decides to attack from. It has been a one-gate expand, but three more gateways are on the way up. No, never mind, that's a Stargate, so two more two more gateways on the way up, and a Stargate. And, uh, well, it looks to me like Fargo wants to do some, uh, some heavy one-base pressure. Uh, pressure hasn't started an expansion yet. Gonna be grabbing a tech lab on, actually, both. Interesting choice from him. I'm not sure if that's, that might be a bit of a mistake by accident, but... This is a full medevac, gonna be moving out towards King Cobra's base. And, uh, of course, King Cobra, his gateways are finishing up right about now. Oh, one of them is. And that Phoenix is gonna do a lot of damage to that medevac, but the problem is, if he, yeah, he's not gonna be able to, fin uh, to catch that medevac out of position or anything, so the medevac's gonna be able to land pretty much unperturbed. 
Hellions are going to probably come in from the front, try to harass the natural, and it's a very, very nice play from Fargo here. Uh, it just depends how he's going to execute this. His moving is... Ooh, it looks like it won't be seen. Actually, it might be seen. I'm not sure. Yeah, it will be seen. Phoenix is going to go and try to deal some damage to that. Everything else is moving there as well, but the Hellions are looking ready to move into the natural. No, it looks like he probably saw the Hellions. Oh, lining them up, though. Nice force field. going to deny that totally. And, uh, well, he's going to be landing the Marines. Marines are in a pretty good position. Going to be able to take out that sentry, and that sentry is a lot of gas down. He's going to be uh, able to get a couple of zealots in here, though. The zealots are going to be able to do uh, quite a bit of damage to these Marines. Where are the Hellions? The Hellions are going to be able to come in right about now, doing uh, hopefully a good amount of damage to the workers. Uh, Worker line is going to be under under a bit of pressure. Nice lift from the Phoenix is going to be able to take out one of those Hellions. Uh, more of the workers going down, though. And uh, not the best attack from Fargo, but he was able to do a pretty significant amount of damage. Was able to take out eight workers. Not bad at all. And while he's not expanding, so he's a little behind in that respect, uh, he was able to do quite a bit of damage. He's actually um, still five behind in worker supply, so he wasn't quite able to make that pay for itself. But he has a Banshee now, producing more ba uh, Actually, that's a Viking now. Going into standard marine tank, looks like he's probably going to gear up to do a big one base push of marine tank, probably expand behind that. DP Fargo going for a little bit of a pause there for a second. Uh, let's take a look at the production tab. Siege mode is on the way. More tanks, more marines, a couple of sentries. Looks like, um, looks like our Protoss player, King Cobra, is going to be uh, focusing primarily on sentry production just now, just to be able to stay safe. There is a robo on the way, and of course those, uh, those, uh, tanks are not massive units. So, um... That does mean that phoenixes can, in fact, lift them up, which will make those phoenixes very, very good in this in this uh, in, in this engagement that I assume is going to be coming up reasonably uh, reasonably soon. Uh, where are those phoenixes? Phoenixes. Uh, well, ah, there they are, right in front of my face. Looks like he was planning on doing a little bit of pressure, but he sees how much is back there. Going to be able to run home. One Immortal's on the way, and of course, with the, between the Immortals and the Phoenix, the tanks are going to be very, very hard-pressed to do any damage for VP Fargo. Another gateway is going to go down over here. Going to be able to increase production capacity now. Not doing anything out of the Stargate at the moment. Uh, looks like those Phoenixes are very, very non-committal. Only getting those two. Trying to do as much with these as he can. Uh, but of course, right now, they haven't really paid for themselves either. Oh... It looks like this is not going to be ideal for him. Going to be able to try. Oh, he's going to try to focus on the Banshee, but he's going to take a little bit of damage. No hold damage on either, but he is going to continue this move out. There are a lot of SCVs with this move, and this is pretty much an all-in. There are some back home, but this is pretty much an all-in from VP Fargo. And that's uh, well, he's going to be able to siege up on the low ground. The air is going to be able to allow him to see the high ground, but uh, that's not a great engagement for King Cobra. Going to lose quite a few units there. And uh, those force fields are not the greatest force fields in the world. One tank did, in fact, go down. So he's not in a horrible position here. But uh, he's going to leapfrog those two tanks forward slowly but surely. I think there is another tank on the way. Yes, there is another tank on the way. There's a lot of bio here to deal with this. Uh, there's a bunker going down as well. It looks like he's just gearing up to... Well, I mean, honestly, this looks like a contain. But the fact that he's brought so many SCVs with him means he wants to kill him now. The question is how fast will he be able to do it? Another Immortal is on the way. There are already two Immortals on the field, and if he's able to get a third one out, that would be very, very dangerous. Nice War Shields are going to be able to take out a few things, but there are tanks shelling the army below, and that is not ideal for King Cobra. There goes another another bunker at the bottom of the ramp. That one has not been canceled. I'm going to leapfrog this tank a little bit further forward. There's another bunker down there going down, and um, it looks like he may try to delay these bunkers with this Phoenix, but uh, there's really nothing else the Phoenix can really do. There's not all that much here. Uh, the Immortals are not very good against these Marines. They will be very good if they can actually get in range of the tanks, but that will be hard. Here we go. Guardian Shield going up, going for another engagement here. The tanks are going to be able to shell this pretty well. Focus firing the tanks down with the Immortals. Nice play by King Cobra. There are still two tanks on the high ground, though. Going to be able to do a lot of damage to those Immortals, but they're not dead yet. They're still alive. And he's actually doing really, really well with, this, with these Immortals here. Going to be able to load up a couple of Marines into that bunker. And, um, the fact is the bunker will not stand very long against these Immortals. Down goes one. And, uh, well, this doesn't look good for BP Fargo at the moment. Uh, the tank on the high ground is still going to be able to do a lot of damage, but the fact is there's only one tank left. And, uh, if he lifts up the tank with one of these Phoenixes, there we go, one of the tanks is lifted up. And, uh, well, one Immortal goes down, but the other Immortals are still alive, and, uh, this doesn't look good for our Terran player at all. He's going to unseed one of the tanks, try to run home. But there's, that, that was essentially an all-in. He's going to be bringing in a few more SCVs as well. Uh, well... Ladies and gentlemen, this does not look good for Fargo at all. One last final attempt at something. There go the SCVs. That wasn't very good. 
Oh no. Well. Oh, a warp prism. I love warp prisms. There goes the warp in Zealots warping in in the main. There's really nothing to deal with this as well. Tank is on the way out. Marines are at the bottom of the ramp. He has enough Marines to deal with this. The problem is that they're not really anywhere nearby. Gonna be able to take a lot of damage. Marines are there. So is the tank. He has, he's, I, he's actually built up a pretty formidable force again. But uh, those Zealots are gonna go down reasonably easily. There is a Colossus on the way though. And uh, the Colossi are basically gonna end this where it stands. Just taking a look at this. The worker kills are in King Cobra's favor. VP Fargo went for more harassment. Went for more straight up damage. And just didn't wor really work all that well. One Marine is sort of running over here. I don't know what he, he wants a death wish, I guess. Here comes the final push. Well, there's still guys at home mining stuff, but this is the final push. If VP Fargo can't win with this, he's dead. He's already pretty close to dead, but he needs to get a phenomenal engagement here. And uh, he needs to focus down those Immortals as fast as possible. And yeah, I mean, he needs to deal with that Colossus. When, it, when uh, that Colossus, if it joins up the army, that's going to be pretty terrible. And uh, King Cobra is going to retreat from there. And yet, tanks are going to continue to move forward. This is the the place where uh, Fargo seems to like to engage. There's an OBS over that now. OBS will see every move. Um, and yeah, Fargo's not going to waste a scan on that. He needs those mules at the moment. Here comes the engagement. The tank is heating up. A nice lift from the Phoenixes. And that will spell the end. Phoenix is taking those tanks out of commission. And yeah... There's just nothing here anymore. Fargo with the GG, and King Cobra takes game one in this best of five series. I've been Penguin, and I'll be back in a second.